More than two years of construction along the St. Mary's Strip could wrap up in a matter of weeks. That's at least what Public Works is saying tonight. I'm skeptical. The night team's John Paul Baraja shows us the progress the Public Works says it has made and the potential costs. A trip down the St. Mary's Strip reveals construction is moving along, but it's not the smoothest drive. Public Works Director Razi Husini says that'll soon change. It looks really good after they finish the remaining part on north side and finish the intersection of Ashby, which they're working installing the signal. They will do the final asphalt. For the owner of Paper Tiger, Chad Carey, it's too little too late. The items they could be at any point pleased in any way is ridiculous. I'm going to see at least one business closure. Um, everyone else is barely hanging on. When asked, Kerry didn't want to name the business he says will close. This video is from November. It shows St. Mary's in front of Slacker Sports Bar, several construction equipment, and no paved street. Six months later, a lot has changed, but construction continues and has moved up the street. Near Vibras, where the entire intersection is covered in traffic barriers, and there's little to no room to walk. On top of that, they still need to lay the final layer of asphalt for the entire strip project. They plan to do that Sunday, June 11th. This project started in March of 2021. It was supposed to be finished last October, but the city's contract was revised to June 17th of this year. Today, Public Works says it hopes to finish sometime this summer. The contract revision is due to adding lighting and landscaping to the project, as well as soil issues and weather delays, according to Public Works. The city has now added an additional contractor to expedite the $11.4 million project. It's possible at the end of the day it may cost a little more because of the prices now is more expensive than price was two years ago. So right now we don't know if it's gone or exceeded? N not quite yet because we haven't really f finalized the project yet. Now, Husini explains the city could charge the contractor spa glass in this case for liquid damages, but that won't be determined until this is all said and done. And done is definitely not the case out here. But we have seen the progress that has been made over the past two years. Now, the city does hold weekly status updates on this project. It's at the St. Sophia's Church just down the street. The next one is tomorrow afternoon at 4 o'clock. On the St. Mary's Strip, John Paul Barajas, Kisa, 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.